listening to one song, you will earn $15. By listening to 10 songs, you can earn over $150, and you can get paid directly into your bank account. In this episode of I Tried It, I'm going to test this side hustle that claims that we can make $15 just for listening to music. Now this video is going to be comprised of four parts. Part number one is going to be the overview of the original video. Part number two is why this may or may not work for you. And part number three is going to be how much I made following this method step by step. And then the final part will be potentially better ways that you can make money online listening to music. So if you've seen the original video, make sure you watch this video to learn if this is actually going to work for you. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into part number one, which is an overview of the original video. The original video basically claims that we can just make money listening to music. You're going to go to this website, which I will not reveal. Step number two is you are going to sign up. Step number three is you're going to listen to music, give it a review and add it to the, your playlist, your Spotify playlist and then you're essentially going to get paid. Now you can get paid with PayPal or any other platform out there. That's really it. The process sounds very simple, very easy to do, but whenever something is easy to do, it may not be as profitable as you want. So let's go ahead and get into part number two, which is potential issues as to why this may or may not work. And what we're gonna do is we're going to jump into my computer and I'm gonna show you a few gotchas that weren't necessarily mentioned in the original video. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the program requirements. Now I'll put a link down in the description so that you can check this out for yourself, but not anyone can just apply to this program. First and foremost, you will need a minimum of 1000 followers per playlist. Number two, you are going to need a minimum of 30 active monthly listeners per playlist. Number three, you're going to need a minimum of 1% active monthly listeners per playlist okay and as you can see here they do not want fake engagement or fake followers and there are other things that you cannot do as well for example you can't use movie series or soundtrack playlist a playlist that change their title to attract followers playlist for a specific album song artist or band so it's got to be a collection playlist focused on specific decades so you can't do like hits of the 80s hip-hop hits of the 90s um, sub for sub playlists and playlists with follow me in the title so you can see right off the bat that it's going to take a little bit of work and effort in order to start potentially making uh, money listening to music but that's just one potential caveat that i saw and thought that should be mentioned now the second caveat that wasn't mentioned is well the original video says that you could make $15 per song. You're most likely gonna make somewhere between $1 and 25 cents to that $15. And this is how curators are getting paid. Essentially, you're a curator and this is how you could get paid. Curators are compensated for each song reviewed. The amount paid per song is based on the amount of listeners you have on your playlist and your activity. We determine this with your reputation score. Depending on your reputation score, your payment can range from $1.25 up to $15 per song. So if you just have 1,000 followers, you're probably only going to make $1.25 per song and not the $15. Again, that wasn't something that was necessarily mentioned in the original video. Another thing that was not mentioned in the original video is that the amount of money that you can make really depends on the availability of songs. Now, the way that this website works is that they will actually work with up and coming artists and the up and coming, up and coming artists have to essentially buy uh, the rights to be on these different playlists and so if there aren't any artists or very few artists that are willing to spend money to get on these websites you're not going to have anything to listen to to get paid i want you to kind of think of this kind of like arbitrage so what the website does is they will uh, connect or find different artists bands and groups and they're going to charge them let's say ten thousand dollars that's a lot but ten thousand dollars in order to get fifty thousand spins or fifty thousand plays then they find people like you and me and they're going to offer us somewhere between $1.25 and $15 to listen to a song and so they're making money both coming and going essentially but this is how the a company like this works is they're the middleman um they're they're the middleman between the artists and the curators and so they're able to pick up a decent amount of money so in addition to songs potentially not being available there's also a really low acceptance rate into this program 
according to this website, again, it's on the main website's uh, question and answer page, the overall track acceptance rate for the website is just 31.4%. And so there might not be a whole lot of uh, songs that you can add to the playlist, which is going to restrict or constrict the amount of money that you could potentially make with this opportunity. So those are the four biggest problems that I found with this potential side hustle. The money will not be consistent. You're probably not going to make as much as the original content creator says, essentially because the amount of money that you're paid out really depends on the number of followers you have. If you have a ton of followers on Spotify, and you create a playlist and that playlist has a ton of followers, you can potentially make $15 per song. Most likely if you have a smaller following, let's say under 10,000 followers on the playlist, you're probably gonna get closer to that $1.25 cent range for song. So those are the four biggest issues. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into part three, which is how much I made. Now, <laughs> this part is actually really, really simple. I didn't make any money. The reason why I didn't make any money is because it's kind of hard to get followers on a playlist. Think about everything that you have to do. You have to go out and create content to bring people back to your playlist. You have to engage with other people. It's really just like any other social media platform where you have to build a following and fan base. You're gonna have to pull people in from different social media. You might have to start email marketing or start a blog in order to start seeing some success. You can't just wake up one day and create a playlist for, uh, let's say a party playlist and automatically get traction. The Spotify users that have large playlists, they coincidentally also have a huge following on social media. They have built up a huge following on YouTube or Instagram, and that's how they're able to attract such a wide grouping of people. And when you already have a huge following on your playlist, you don't really need to use a website like this because there are other ways that you are probably monetizing. So consider that when you are trying to start this side hustle, you will still need to go out and attract people to you. That's gonna be through podcasting, TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, social media, or YouTube. And you're going to have to bring those people to you. And then you're gonna to have to provide value, either share your extensive knowledge in music, you have to potentially be a music musician yourself, and you're going to have to continuously engage and offer them value. And then eventually over time, you could get to the point where you have a thousand followers, which would be one of the minimum requirements. But quite honestly, if you have a thousand followers on Spotify or any other music sharing platform, there are probably other better ways for you to monetize, which we'll talk about in just a moment. So with my results, I made absolutely nothing. Chances are you're probably going to make absolutely nothing, but let's go ahead and jump into part four, which are better ways to monetize or make money listening to music. Now that we know that this method probably will not work for most people, let's go ahead and look at better ways that you could make money listening to music. The first and probably the most common way is simply reacting to music. First thing that you would wanna do is you'd want to pick a niche or a genre. So instead of just reacting to everything you see in here, decide that you wanna to react to country music or hip hop or whatever it is. It doesn't matter as long as it has a following. Then every Friday or however often new music comes out, you simply will listen to the music and give your thoughts and opinion. Now, this isn't gonna be something that just happens overnight. You're gonna to have to consistently listen to music, give your thoughts and opinion and react to it. Another angle for reaction is to going back and listening to older music and comparing it to the new stuff. But I think reacting is going to pay you much better. If you react on YouTube, for example, you could get paid by the YouTube Partner Program, which is really, really cool. The second way that you could essentially get paid by listening to music is by creating your own music. You could become a SoundCloud musician or a SoundCloud rapper, post your content in various platforms, and then hopefully one day you either get contracted for concerts, you get put on, uh, you join a recording label, or you just sell your content, your music independently. I think this is a much better way to make $15 per song because you're going to be making music that you genuinely enjoy and you're going to be building a fan base. And like I said, once you start building a fan base, it is much easier to monetize that fan base. Another thing that you could do, and this wasn't one that I was originally intending, is you could actually do affiliate marketing. So let's say you are a musician. Your genre is R&B singing. If you start singing, you tell people about your journey, your path, you start talking about the different types of uh, equipment that you use, you can re recommend that equipment. 
For example, I could recommend this microphone because it has helped me get in front of you. You can recommend the different uh, things that you have used to help you get where you are and because you have built a following and a fan base there will be a sub subsection of people that buy that thing but affiliate marketing could be a great way to go everything from microphones to headphones to different podcasting equipment all of that stuff that you use you could recommend it to someone else you could partner with a company like Amazon as an affiliate recommend their products and get paid for it. In addition to reacting and creating your own music, you can actually create digital products. Now, I think digital products is a really cool opportunity. And quite honestly, the songs that you make and sell, that's a digital product. But you can actually help other people. Let's say you have played the drums. You could actually be a coach teaching people how to play the drums themselves. You could create a little mini course teaching people step by step how they could essentially get to where you are or get on the path to where you are by teaching them basic concepts in um, music theory or music principle. These are all much better ways that you could use today to make $15 per song. And I think the final thing that you could do is actually create a membership. A cool thing with a membership is it offers reoccurring monthly revenue. So what I would do once again is pick a niche and essentially with a membership is you're just providing more content and more information. In my opinion, there are a few different ways that you could go. If you're creating a membership, you could actually pick apart songs. You could offer to listen to music and give your feedback. You can give singing lessons. There are so many different opportunities that I think are much better than trying to make $15 listening to one song because as I laid out earlier, it's not gonna work for most people. I wanna know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think that this is a real opportunity or do you think this is something that is just kind of thrown out there so that the content creator can get paid by YouTube? I'm really interested to hear what you have to think. Now that you know that this method probably won't work for you, watch this video next because YouTube says it will help you start an online business.